Embrace is Strange. Today's illusion is Wishbone Road. If you're new, illusions are where I call my paintings. It seems fitting because I am scarred by illusion. I redrafted the sketch the evening before I started this painting. The original sketch wasn't bad, it just was very simple and oh so underwhelming. I couldn't be happier with this version though. The additional legs create more dimension and whimsy or surrealism. I also like the Venus flytrap maw mouth, sort of, instead of the alien head that I had in the concept sketch. I really feel like it feels like it could walk off the canvas. And I love that. I love that. I love that. That's all I want. <laughs> the figure is bent, creeping on its tiptoes with its arms outstretched. And the elongated neck forms a snaking path. Serrated petals nip at the purple orbs. I watched Guillermo del Toro's Pinocchio, and it was terribly sad. Not unlike the original, and I expected that since it's Guillermo del Toro, but oh my god. It made me cry. Three to four times. I didn't really keep track, but I know that I, I cried. I'm still not emotionally recovered from the deaths of Sybil and Basil in the picture of Dorian Gray, and it was just overwhelming. <laughs> Probably not for kids at all with the fascist stuff. It immediately reminded me of Pan's Labyrinth, which I like. I like the dark fairy tales, the realism of the darkness, but you know, it's just something. It's uh, Candlewick's dad asking him to shoot Pinocchio. I have no words. That was terrible. <laughs> that aside, Pinocchio reminded me of the golem idea. I don't remember how I was introduced to the golem. I think it was through T. King Fisher's book. Or maybe the genie and the golem. Because there was the book by T. King Fisher backtracking. Um, what is it? Something the wizardry of baking. She makes golems in that book too. So I can't remember which I read first. Um, but with the genie and the golem. The golem in that book was made to be a man's wife. But he dies of appendicitis. I'm just spoiling everything for everybody. I'm sorry. <laughs> he dies on the boat to America. She was terribly boring. And the genie really carried the plot, but she didn't know what to do without the man. That's kind of what I felt about Pinocchio, too, where it's like, oh, he's like a hollow boy, you know, trying to develop a character and be it, but he's living in the shadow of a real boy. Anyway, this painting is idyllic and odd, but I love it. So if you take anything away from this video, it is art, truly art, and art goes on, so I will in my next video. Thank you for watching.